Hey guys, how's it going? Ghosty Rich here, and today we're going to pull out the dashboard on this GTI because, well, it's going to need to be replaced because of the airbag. Fun times. So the first thing you're going to want to do is have a panel popper, so you don't have to replace more than you need to. As you can see, see how I did that? There's these little grooves. You just slip it in here and then turn it sideways and pop them out. After you do that, go to the other side, do the same thing. Then we're going to check always check for screws. There's probably some down here, which I just felt one. So we're going to have a screw right here, which is a T25 Torx, and another one right here, right where my hand is. So take out the T25 aiming up right there, and the one right there, and the one right here. There's three in total, I believe. Don't quote me on that. You might have to take out another one, but yep. First, take out those. Sorry, those are actually T20s. So when you go to take the rest of it off, get up here and then just flick this portion off. You basically want to get up in here and try and get this half of it off first. That's your goal. And then when you do, you'll notice there's a hook on this side. This one's obviously been glued back on before because it's been popped off. So never start on this side if you can. Start it on this side and once you get it all off, you're good. First thing you're going to want to do too, I didn't mention this, but I'll post it here. Take your battery off. T25, go into the hole right here. You'll see it. And if you feel around for the T25, you will find it. There it is. After you loosen it, you'll know because it'll just drop down. And then from there, flick this. And then now we need to separate the two clamshell pieces like so. After you've pulled your battery, put your key, obviously not to the starting position, but to the on. Once you've put it onto the on position, you'll turn your steering wheel sideways like so. If you have some plastic panel poppers, and if you don't, you're going to love to have these, so you should go buy them. They're super cheap. They're at like Princess Auto, anywhere else, uh, they're like five bucks for a bunch. So you grab it, you shove it in between the steering wheel, and just pry down like this, and that's what made it separate. You literally just do this, and you have to force it, and then after that, now that side's free. This sh side should be free. And then now, you just make sure that handle still flipped down, and you're good. You'll see that there's a Torx right here. Or actually, no, that's an Allen key, cool. So there's an Allen key on this side, and chances are, if there's one on that side, and there it is, there's one on this side as well. So take both those Allen key bolts out so our bottom shroud comes down. So when you're prying it up, the top pops up. You can probably pull it just out of the way after you telescope the steering wheel out of the way like that pull this out of the way actually flip it up like that so that way you don't have to take the rubber out if you take a look right here you can see that uh, after both screws came out we just lifted it around you'll see there's even this key cylinder plastic piece put that off to the side and from there we are free so now leave your steering wheel like this for a sec and we We'll probably put our key back in to get our full rotations around. So if you want, go ahead and do that. What we're doing, if you feel behind your steering wheel when it's up like this, there's a little clip here. It's hard for me to show you. Let's see if I can. Well, where Tariq's sticking the screwdriver is a, if you look back there, you'll see that there is a crevasse that you're sticking your screwdriver in. And then, yeah, it seems a little farther forward. Do we have to do both sides at once? Oh, oh let's lock this in. Yeah. I'll grab it by the airbag. <laughs> Maybe two at once. Pull this out so you guys can see what we're doing. So see how there's this right here, how there's a little bit of a hook on it? Well, what you're doing is this little bar is around the hook. So you're using the flat blade to push the hook down or push it down so you can pull the airbag out. Pretty easy, right? So it's much easier to show you this way because then you can see what you're doing behind the steering wheel. 
you're literally just grabbing this and then bending these or bending it down with the screwdriver so it's hooked on here if you can imagine and you're bending it down off of the hook so you can slip it out we actually got one out and then the whole thing slipped out so pretty good that way once it's set like this all you do is you slip out the black clip pretty easy ducktail right there squeeze the ducktail down slide out as for this one grab the clear tab with your fingers and pull back on it or well it's a white tab but when you pull back on it it lets go and look at that after you get the clamshell off like so you flip this up and there'll be two if you look down through here I'll never get lighting properly to do that but if you flip it up you'll see just under the skirt two more t20s so right here if you were to do it right there oh well, look at that Tariq to the rescue so right in there see that one there's one right there and there's one on the other side take those two out to get those two out just grab right here pull evenly on both sides and slip your gauge cluster out after that also you're going to take clamshell out top clamshell out at the same time bring it up here slide it out disconnect those wires so that way you can put it off to the side once you get this loose you're going to turn it to the side and i'll show you here so you see that blue clip that's on the side right there what it is is there's a rocker clip on it let's show you how it looks it's this blue one right here and it's on the back there so you need to just turn it to the side you'll see see how there's this little blue notch in here you have to compress that in and then the lever which is right here tightens it so see right there that's if it was all the way down so if you just press it lightly with a screwdriver you can move the it passed and move it up as soon as you as you're flipping it up you'll see it pulling out of the back of the cluster once the cluster is up here and it's free now you just have to work it out like that put the cluster off to the side take a look right here boom that's that little clip that's where the blue clip was leave that here after we do that you'll look right here there's two torque screws right here so we're going to loosen that and then we'll also have another one right here which also is holding the dashboard right here so you're going to loosen that one as well next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull off the trim around the radio pretty easy all you do is you grab this sneak it in do that go around the whole trim and pop it this is i know i have an aftermarket but it's still the same just pop it and yeah like I said just pop all the trim first and you can just follow it along do not be scared but yeah hard to do with this in my hand same way just go around boom might as well while you're here just go through take out all the torques and then we can just clear out this center piece right here so there's no weight on it don't forget the two right here take those two out after that's out then take out any bolts that you find hidden underneath after you get it forward you have to slide these red tabs first by either using a nail or a screwdriver so all you do is you flip it forward and squeeze down and you can pull the clip out and do the same to the rest so again flip up and pull out next thing is shifter just grab from the edge you can pop it out you can uh, if you'd like to remove the whole boot or just use it so you can twist it around and get the screws that are around the edges you'll see one right here on the edge if I hit this handy dandy flashlight there we go See how there's one right there on the edge? So you need to take out that one and take out the one on the other side. And that pops the trays out so that way we can pull out this side piece that is clipped on to the big plastic piece. This top part right here, you'll see the two Phillips right here on an angle up. 
So go and take those two out so we can slide the two vents out. Duct tab, take it off. And then you'll see this piece up at the top. It's uh, got the cord on it. So after you unweave the cord, this one just slips right up and out like that. Just slide it off like that. Take a console, put it off to the side right there. And then from in here, we're looking pretty, pretty good. We're looking much cleaner now. So next thing to do, now if you're looking inside where all our stuff was, there's two screws, one there and one on this side. Take those two screws out so we can slip out the whole plastic opening right here. See yellow? You're gonna press down on it. As you're pressing down on it, you're gonna use your shifter just like you would normally and put it all the way down into sport mode. Leave it there. Make sure your handbrake is on and your foot is on the brake. You can take your foot off the brake, but remember to have your handbrake on. Otherwise, your car could roll. Take this after you've taken those two screws out. And then, again, we are just going to be popping out some more duct tabs. So, like that, and then as it's folded in, slide down. Do the same with your cigarette lighter. Careful with the cigarette lighter one, because it sits so weird-like. So it just gets pressed down once again, duct tab, and then work it out. And then, be free. Oh, also make sure this is closed. Otherwise it'll never come out. Okay, after that is out, to this side of the dash so we can drop this out of the way. Squish in. When you press in, move it over. It kind of half turns and you do that. Another duct tab, move this out of the way. Do you pull that out? You'll see the little sneaky bugger right there. Unscrew that little sneaky bugger. Sides right here. Fold them out, grab the other side, fold it out, wiggle it down, and then another duct tab, take it out. Once you get that side out, you'll find another hidden screw, take that one out. Next thing, come over here, loosen the side on the side of the fuse box. If you're wondering, you can always Google pictures of your dash to see how much uh, the skeleton has to come out. There's quite a bit. So now that we've done that, we've gotten this whole section here. If there's a little piece of plastic here, that just kind of slips out. Uh, if you're like me and you have zap straps all over the place, you'll have to cut some. But uh, now that we've gone here, go to your glove box and you get underneath it. You'll see one there, you'll see one there, see one there. And then when you take those out, your glove box will come down. After that, take the three out along the bottom. Once you've gotten to this point, this whole piece right here, just literally start lifting and it comes right out. Just work it around your one right there. Put that off to the side. This point, this one, just stick your fingers kind of in between it and push down. That'll pop it down like so. You'll see a Phillips, or sorry, not a Phillips, Torx here, Torx here, and that'll loosen these two sides. After you get that, you can work this around the edge there, and then with these, you can work out the hooks, like so. Those will be locked in, so you just need to, they'll probably be a little tighter than that, but you're going to pull it out and go. This one doesn't have the arrow hook, so you're good that way. You're not going to break any of them off, and then, yeah, now that we've gotten here, Time to look to see if there's any more Torx screws. Once you have that piece off, we've got all the screws up. Squeeze this underneath, so that way your glove box is over top. You can see this will try and bow it a bit, but once that's squeezed down there, now that we've got all these screws out, try and pull it towards you. After you pop it forwards like so, from working it around, you'll see that you need to catch it and you'll see your lights there. They are on by two little duct tabs on each side. Compress them both at once and then it'll slide right out. With your vents, try and get the edge out if you can. After you do that, you have to work the bottom out first if you can. And then up top, you'll see that there's gonna be, see how they flip up like that? There, 
you just have to kind of flex it down until these snap back out, but they're basically just hooks. So you're trying to slip them past those hooks. Very fun. Once you do that, that frees up and takes them out of the area here. You could probably even leave those in, but I'm just trying to take as much out as I can to make it easier. We have a screw here. We have all these screws along here. So go ahead and take out all those ones right there so the shell can come out. Well, look, another one right there. Once you get rid of all these ones, then you're gonna get this rid of this center one here. After you get rid of that center one there, you are going to see another one up here. Take that one out. And basically we're just looking for all the ones attached to this plastic trim. Just like the glove box side already had all the screws out, just had to work it around the plastic lip down there and then it just literally came out on an angle away from the uh, leather up here. Next is to go around and remove some more of the uh, screws that are attached to the plastic. Also take out this knee basher right here. The uh, silver piece right here, take that out. So it's under your steering wheel, OBD2 reader, take that out. And then yeah, these are just two 10 mils for the kick bar. Right here, press down as you're pulling out. Just pull, push down on here for a sec. And you'll see that slips right over. So that means we don't have to take off any more of this. All right guys, if you're taking a look here, we're outside the glove box. We go in underneath. And if you look off into the corner here, see those airbag bolts? They're right up there. You can see them through the hole here. You're gonna undo, you'll see the airbag motor. So one, unplug the airbag motor, and two, then you're gonna also loosen off the two screws on the top because that holds in a major portion of the dash. So after I did those bolts, first I tried to get the harness out, but the harness actually spit itself out at when the airbag blew. That's really, really different. Anyways, so now that I've loosened the bolts, the airbag's just sitting in there. I'm gonna take that out now, so it's out of the way, and we have a little bit more movement in the dash. So you can see there, we have some more plastic going on right there with another bolt. We're also going to quickly disconnect that sensor just in case because we don't want that to, of course, break or anything. So just, yeah, if you have that sensor there, unplug it. There's a black one around the corner right here. I just took out through the side pocket. There's one on each side. Make sure you take those out. Right here, there's a sensor. Get in here with your panel popper, pop it out, unplug it. To get this side free, we're just going to loosen off the uh, fuse box completely so we can lift it up and out of the way. Another reason why we pulled the uh, battery, mind you, there's many reasons. Okay, after that's lifted up and out of the way, look at these. You have to try and get underneath it with a panel popper. It's, they're pretty brittle. This one, I got it off, pretty much exploded. Once you get it out, you just undo the screw. After you do that, this comes off of here and you just wiggle this out of the way so we can properly do it. Be careful not to puncture this airbag. Go to the other side, do the same thing. Once you have both pillars out, it's time to start lifting out like so. Go to the other side, lift. As you can see, our dash is pretty well free. So now, what you're gonna do, now that everything is free, you're going to go around and you're gonna make sure that every single sensor is unplugged. Once all the sensors are unplugged and you've fed all the wiring harnesses throughout the, all this plastic to make sure there's no wiring harnesses like strapped into the plastic, you're good and we can lift this out. So the dash is free except for one thing. We have to pull the steering wheel. The steering wheel is going to be in the way. Now, technically because I'm removing the old dash, if I just wanted to be lazy, I could cut it in two sections and just get it the hell out of here. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna try and pull out the steering wheel so that way you guys can see how to take it off so you can get your new dash back in. Triple square right here, 12 millimeter. Throw her in the center shaft. 
Throw it on a ratchet and let's have some fun. <laughs> Ready? Uh, uh, oh. Hey, it's pinned. Just careful, actually, because I don't know how strong these are. Next, we're going to have to do is uh, take out these harnesses. So, how you do that? You grab onto the wire like so. You fold this back. Wait for all the nail jokes. Oh, your nails are so dirty. So after we start doing all these, you're just gonna have to. This one has a security, so we pop that down like so. Squeeze duck tail. Disgusting nails, I know. And then afterwards, CRE again. After that. Take out this one screw right here. After you get out that screw, put it off to the side. Uh, there's two fold outs up here, right there on the sides. Just, it'll be locked in like that, folded around the clip. Same with the other side. Give it a wiggle. Oh, I got one more clip right here. So again, same old thing. Pop the clip out. What you're gonna do is down under here, there's a, there's a silver head right here. You're gonna unscrew that screw. And when you do, then this whole thing slides towards you and off. With that clock spring, put it up somewhere high. Don't let anyone turn it. Just let kind of let it do its thing. If you unwind it and crap, you're gonna run into problems. So. What we're going to do next uh, is lift the dash out. That's the last step. And we are uh, ready to go. Everything else is emptied out on the column. Nothing to cause us resistance. Do you approve? Oh, yeah. We got the ears. Let's lift out. Well, it looks way worse than it is, guys. But we have all the broken pieces off of the vehicle. So now it'll be time to rebuild. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be an adventure. But if you stay on the channel long enough, you'll probably see this driving again. It literally is going to be a fun build. There isn't, like there is a lot, but there isn't a lot. It's going to come down to rebuilding the front end, yes. But if I spend one night at a scrap yard, I'll probably get the whole front end. We're already looking at a couple maybe carbon fiber fenders. And then we're looking at a carbon fiber hood, maybe even a carbon fiber bumper. And then we might put Golf R headlights in it, proper ones. And the inside should be pretty sick. Man, what an evening though. We've done this all in one evening for the removal. So technically if I had all the parts tomorrow, we could finish Shriek. Yeah, might as well tell about the maintenance of everything. Oh, and there's some maintenance, um, water pump, and timing cover, oil change. Just little things, but also gotta clean it. Man, there's so much dirt. Like look at these piles of dirt under the wheel wells. But I mean, you're gonna get it from road grime and everything like that. But for us, it is time to go to bed. Look at the dogs. Mika is a bedtime. You gonna sign us out? Uh, yeah, if you wanna subscribe, go right ahead and uh, like the video if you like it. And it's bedtime. Night.